All right, so I got the gearbox here. Uh, this is actually the first time I've opened up the gearbox, mainly because it's been working great. I mean, I've been getting real good FPS, real good seal. I mean, just really good performance out of this gun and just really haven't needed to open it. The only thing I've done to it modification wise is the uh, hop up and such. Never really opened the gearbox. So I'm actually kind of interested to see what the ANK Masada has in store. What I can tell you so far is it does have, it looks like seven millimeter uh, metal bushings. I forgot about that. Seven millimeter metal bushings seem to be in pretty good shape. Uh, it does use a unique air nozzle. Pro or con there. It also has a reinforced gearbox shell, which is nice to see on version 2's. Because version 2 gearboxes tend to break. Now just so we can get this straight, I bought this gun used. And from what I can say, uh, this gun's stock. They said that they had no internal modifications onto this gun. So I believe them. I don't really have a reason not to, but let's get on show you guys everything. I'll show you the reinforcements here on the gearbox so you can see this little extended plate. And this is perfect because that's exactly where version 2's tend to break, is right up here and right down there. I'm pretty sure it's on the other side as well. So the spring guide uh, is metal. It does have bearings. Nice, nice feature. So good spring guide there. Uh, the spring is an irregular pitched one. Seems to be about an M100, M110. It's pretty soft. It also has been used a lot. The piston on here looks a little interesting. It's a clear uh, piston. Um, don't think it's bad though. It actually looks very nice. Uh, it does have a ported piston head, a nice O-ring. The teeth look pretty nice. Second tooth is removed. No damage really on it. Wow, this thing is pretty much a workhorse. Uh, the gears, if you can see, imprinted on it, uh, A and K, right on the sector gear there. It does have a, a chrome cylinder. Let's see if I can take the cylinder out and show you guys this. Now the uh, Masada uses a unique air nozzle, as you can see, it's one of the longest air nozzles. Uh, there's no internal o-ring. No ports on the cylinder either. Cylinder head is kind of loose in there. It does have some grease. It's a one o-ring seal. Uh, let's test the air compression with the stock piston. Mm. Not the best, as you can see. <laughs> oh well, I'm not really complaining though because like I said, this gun has very good performance. So, nothing really, uh, I mean, I think this is a very nice gun internally. All the parts are nicely lubed, nicely clean, all in working condition. Also, if you can see the trigger contacts here, I'm looking at them. Uh, not any carbon buildup at all. So the trigger contacts seem to be going good, and I'm using Dean's connectors and 9.6 volt batteries. So, um, yeah, for a gearbox uh, stock, I'd say it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, might just need a new grease on the gears, but that's about all I can see. Shim job looks pretty even. Might be missing some on the sector gear, but I'd have to look in the gears further. But just for basic internals, uh, looks pretty good.